So welcome to our presentation, the case form labs, the weird group Genie. And yeah, we want to present you, say we want to present you first, uh, form labs. Form labs is a 3D printing um, developer, uh, technology developer and manufacturer. They started their business in 2011. And well, later on, they, they launched a product, they worked on it, they launched their first product, which is Form 1 in the year 2013, um, at a price of $3,300. Uh, later on, they gave him a little upgrade, um, well, let's upgrade off the Form 1, um, at a higher price, a plus uh, of $800, and they provided this product with better yeah, with a uh, greater speed, a uh, better quality, and so on. And then later on, they introduced their product in, in the fall of the same year, their new product, Form 2, um, which uh, includes a larger build volume and a wider cartridge resin system instead of bottles that needed uh, to be manually worked into the Form 1 and Form 1 Plus. That was the that point. And they just offered it at a price which was a little bit higher um, than the first uh, product, Form 1, of 3,499. <coughs> so um, just let's have a quick watch, uh, a look at the value proposition. Well, Form Labs, they offer a high quality, high speed, high precision, aesthetic products, uh, excellent customer service, and uh, yeah, a reliable, reliable product. Everything looks great so far. It goes on. Uh, just have a look, quick look at the market growth. Uh, we already saw that um, this market is growing, was well, was growing, and still is growing. So everything looks great so far. So just let's have a look at the product, how it looks like, and yeah, to underline the. Oh no, that was the wrong one. Uh, 22 in 2015, uh, at Boston Museum of Science, uh, Lavosky uh, introduced uh, the new product of the company. It was Form 2. Uh, the product with uh, Wi-Fi capability, automated design system, and uh, touch screen control, and also improved uh, by quality and speed. That's uh, maybe uh, the reason why uh, in survey uh, people uh, named that uh, the most uh, wanted printer. And uh, it's just uh, priced uh, 199 uh, US dollar higher than uh, Form 1. And uh, <laughs> the, form, uh, the Form Lab uh, mm, with this, this future, uh, future uh, called uh, and uh, had the uh, set with four two, but uh, they didn't have the immediate set, uh, uh, immediate set grow, um, and uh, there was no obvious uh, bones after the launch, uh, like back in 2012. Um, but what is the sales strategy and execution uh, to improve sales? Uh, should form that work with more channel partners or uh, continue to emphasize direct sales and increase the marketing budget <coughs> or uh, shift more uh, resources from uh, an inbound sales model to more proactive outbound sales uh, work? Uh, let's see a uh, SWOT analysis for the company. They had a good opportunity, uh, they had a good quality product and uh, be compatible everything and uh, a strong customer service and uh, reliable and easy to use product. And also defects in the form one and lack of analysis of a market conversation rate. And they had no proper customer tracking and the low field sales. And also they have opportunity uh, in potential market growth like dentist, lab, and jewelry. And they can uh, enhance feed sales and uh, using channel partner, a partner uh, with more awareness on local mar uh, market. Also, they should consider about the increasing uh, competition 
and a lack of uh, trust in the in channel partner to provide uh, efficient uh, customer saving. Okay, let's. Uh, yes, okay, for the market sales, probably they did uh, some way to improve the sales, like uh, they focus on the customer segment. The first one is uh, regional and product center is the best uh, customer segment. And there, there's a lot of competitors all over the world, like that's Ricky, Stratas, and Until Market Board. And this is the status, and also the major sales, they use uh, e-commerce, they uh, their sales you see their e-commerce from, uh, from labs.com and, and the status the next status is uh, they also did promotional content like uh, blog posts and social media also using uh, advertisement in the social media or search engine like google and this is the weakness uh, all group already mentioned this uh, weakness this is just uh, from web strategy they have five strategy uh, from 2012 they with uh, e-commerce but that e-commerce not effective uh, only 30 percent user purchase uh, and after that they hire two sales but uh, improve the sales but only 45 sales and after that they hired 11 okay 11 sales representative but the sales not getting improved as well. And 2015, this very good uh, improvement when uh, they did a uh, new plan, new conversation plan, and new conversation plan, and uh, they improve this strategy, improve 80% uh, of sales. I think from five strategy, only one uh, strategy that uh, successful. And after that, uh, they spread the market to uh, doing the party sales in the US, Europe, and the Asia, but the sales always uh, is the same with the previous. The sales had not jumped significantly. So, uh, I already did some strategy, but uh, the sales not getting better. So, this is our recommendation for from like to increase the sales. The first one is they need to improve marketing plan and increase the competition plan because uh, this strategy already proven that improve um, eighty percent sales and we think that marketing plan like using digital marketing will be uh, useful for from that to increase the sales. Uh, this strategy will be will be reach uh, their customer and will be understand to uh, what what customer needs. This is the first uh, recommendation. The second is uh, problem need to improve direct sales like uh, profit sales, representative need uh, negotiating training for excellent customer service to uh, create customer lifetime value and also to receive continuous feedback from customer. And the last one I think is from that need to be focused B2B be because uh, their product uh, highly uh, cost, the, 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 the price is very high and also uh, very good product. So I think B2B is the best way to uh, sell this product. Okay, so this is the question from the paper. The question is should from that uh, work with more channel? So we are sure that yes, uh, they should. The first one is technology partner to uh, to share their technology around the world and after that they need to uh, collaborate with system integrator to uh, help company to do something like uh, to make the Twitter and this is growth analysis consultant to know the data of customer increase or not what is the strategy and so on and also they need to uh, make channel to the development firms this already uh, you can maybe we need to increase to more many country or the world. This is the first question, and the second question is: So, from up, continue to emphasize direct sales and increase its marketing budget? Yes, exactly. And because uh, because our our uh, recommendation B two B, so this is the strategy of uh, being B two B customer. So, we have us. Uh, Gamos will be the main uh, strategy and after that we need to from that need to be uh, build some mobile application uh, sales representative 
and also customer service like services resolution building health free representative technical support and maybe like uh, service sales like vending machine or maybe service they can print by website and we deliver the the result. This is the second question and the last question is uh through from lab save more resource from an inbound sales model to uh, outbound. This is outbound marketing and inbound marketing and we think that from lab need to be choose uh, inbound marketing because sorry this is uh, they go draw a customer in the sales funnel with targeted, more targeted and relevant and using digital marketing like search engine optimization, blogging, podcast, YouTube, uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, and also uh, use uh, email list and community creation to make uh, their customer in its. Okay, this is the recommendation. And the conclusion is. Hi. Well, now that you have uh, listened to all of the information previously displayed, you know exactly what we're talking about, you know the product, and most importantly, you know the ups and downs of this product and the history, right? So based on all that information, we came out with three essential things that we think as a group that they have to put the, the most attention. First one, as you can see, is the marketing plan. Second, it will be direct sales. And the last one will be B2B market. I'm gonna briefly tell you uh, why each one is really important. Like marketing plan, uh, you're gonna achieve two essential things with it. First one, uh, you're gonna be able to um, expose the product and display it globally for people to know it. You know, high-end users and also just people who wanna have fun with it. And second, and I think most importantly, if you come up with a really structure and really good marketing plan, you're going to be able to uh, pinpoint your consumers, know, know where, where they are, who they are, and you're going to be able to track them and analyze, analyze them, right? Uh, that's like, like we discussed uh, in previous classes, you can also use big data, and you can gather feedback from like clicks or something like that, you know exactly what they want, well, where they want it, and you know, improve the, the, the sales channels by doing so. So marketing plan is really important uh, because of those two things, exposing the product and knowing the customer a little bit better. And direct sales, uh, they had a little bit of struggle with the sales because uh, even though they did have like a really strong sales team committed, but they didn't have like a commission based, uh, you know, compensation plan. And for everyone who has done sales, you know, it has to be commission based for them to be motivated so in this one, it's pretty much creating a really solid, uh, dedicated uh, team doing sales. And you know you have to reward them by giving them commissions. And you know they're the ones who know the product better. Uh, they're gonna offer post-sales services. So it's all about motivating them. And last but not least, you have B2B market. This one, it's pretty much aiming to high-end professionals because they have the higher budget to actually spend money on this type of machine, which is, in my opinion, not that cheap. So, uh, for instance, if you wanna aim to someone who's just willing to play with it, most likely you're not gonna spend $3,000 or $1,500 to play with something, right? But these people, like dentists, uh, architects, engineers, they have workshops, so they have a higher budget to spend because it's related to business. It's not only to play with, but they're gonna make money out of it. So for us, this is really important. And we think that if they pay a lot of attention to the district things, they're gonna succeed in you know, selling and, and have incremental sales. And that's it, we have. Yeah, thank you, sir. Any questions? And remember to vote for us, Jamie. Thank <laughs> you.